Today I want to look at finding a volume of revolution and we're going to use this same region we used before going around the x-axis but let's revolve that region now about the y-axis. So that same region but now about the y-axis. So the first thing to notice is that when we went around the x-axis this region was butted right up against the x-axis. So when we revolved it, we got a solid object. But now this curve here, the closest curve to the y-axis, is not right up against it. So when we revolve it, we're going to generate a hole. So we'll start by making a sketch of a mirror image across that axis of revolution. And now, think about our partition. We're going to slice this this way now. Because as we revolve around the y-axis, all of our circles are stacked up, up the y-axis. So this gets sliced, y from 0 all the way up to here. Now, we weren't given that value in our description, but we know it's where these two curves intersect when x is 4 y is square root of 4 or 2. Now, remember, all we need to do is express the area of one slice and then integrate those areas. So, say we're at a given y here, and we slice, we'll have that hole in the middle, and then the solid will be a bigger circle. Now the geometry involved here is still just area of circles, but now we'll have a bigger circle's area with a smaller circle's area cut out. So we want to express that cross-sectional area now as a function of y, because we're integrating with respect to y. And we want to take that bigger circle. Now notice, what's the radius of that bigger circle? Well, it's always being determined by that vertical line, x equal 4. So no matter where you slice it, that big radius is 4. So the bigger circle is pi 4 squared. The smaller circle, now that one's being determined by the curve. So that distance from there to there well, it's whatever that x value is, right? So the distance here is from there to there, which would be x. But we're integrating with respect to y. So what is x in terms of y? Well, we know the relationship right here from our function. But it's not given the way we would like. We'd like to know what is x as a function of y, Right now, we know what y is as a function of x, so we need to invert that equation. If y is square root of x, x is y squared. So the radius of this small circle is x, but x is y squared, and it's pi r squared, so it's y squared squared. So our cross-sectional area, simplified, is 16 pi minus y to the fourth pi. Now that we've expressed the area of that cross-section, we just need to integrate that area from 0 to 2. Again, when you're thinking about your limits of integration, it's helpful to have thought about where you're slicing. You're slicing that region from 0 up to 2. So that volume is the integral from 0 to 2 of our cross-sectional area, 16 pi minus y to the fourth pi dy. And even though we have a hole, it's still going to be a pi r squared minus a pi r squared with two different radii. So we can take that pi out in these cases as well. So I'll factor the pi out. It's in both terms. And I'll integrate what I'm left with. 
Antiderivative of 16 is 16y. Antiderivative of negative y to the fourth is negative y to the fifth over five. And we're going from zero to two. Now all we have to do is evaluate. We have pi times two into this would be 32 minus two to the fifth is 32 over five. And zero into there is zero minus zero. Now we just simplify this. 32 minus 32 fifths. Well, 32 times 4, 128 pi over 5. Now, one thing to notice, going around the x-axis or going around the y-axis, if you're going around the x-axis, you need to be able to express that cross-sectional area as a function of x. If you're going around the y-axis, you have to express that cross-sectional area as a function of y. Now, we got lucky here that even though this was written as a function of x, we were able to invert it. That's not always possible. So we're going to need another technique for finding volumes where the requirements for the variables are reversed. If we have that other technique, we can cover all cases. So next time, I'll look at a different way of finding volumes using a different way of slicing, not using cross-sections, but using another approach.